Ready? Yep. And here we. Well, we're, we're fucking matched too. I didn't even notice that. Oh shit, that's right. Yeah, I got my. Uh, uh, Dirty Jersey versus Harley Davidson. Yeah, I got my orange Charlie on and my orange hat too. And here we go. Welcome back to another video, guys. You already do the intro, so it is what it is. It is a um, cold, a cold day out here in Dirty Jersey. Representing the Dirty Jersey merch. If you haven't got your merch down below, link is down below. Um, today's a very special day. Um, some would say. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> very disappointing day. Yes. So Harley Davidson has has had us wait around for basically almost a whole year just to uh, come out with a bunch of new colors. Yeah, <laughs> it's basically just new colors. Paint jobs. Just all right. Hey, we're 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 gonna move everything around and we're gonna build up all this uh, anticipation and just give you guys a bunch of colors. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. <laughs> they're, they're all these like, paint is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. You cannot take hands down. I hands best, down the best. The best. best. I, you name one motorcycle manufacturer that's got better paint than Harley Davidson. There is none. There is none. <laughs> Like you said, their paint is beautiful. I got a 17 year old bike and the paint's still beautiful on that bike. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, all right, so let's, I mean, yes, there is minor little changes. Um, I guess we'll, we'll start from the bottom up. I guess we'll start with, uh, let's just, start with the streets, the streets and forcers yeah. and move our way up to baggers. I forgot um, about the streets. So streets, obviously if you go on the website, they're gone, no more streets on the website. Um, for irons. Streets are in Europe though. Yeah, in, in Europe. And stuff. But all this is gonna be all U.S. market stuff. So for you guys in Europe, this is just the uh, the news that we got from the U.S. Um, so no streets over here. Um, we got some new paint jobs for uh, the Sportsters. Um, that teal color on the forty eight is beautiful. Probably one of the nicest colors if, I've seen. If, I think I think they should do the fenders with that too. They just do the tank on that. I just don't like it. I mean, it's the, the forty eight is just a tank. I know, but they should with colors. They should do the fenders. Too. Yeah, I I agree. Um, that's pretty much it for sports shows. There's, there's really nothing. Price new. increase five, five or six hundred bucks on the eight eighty three. How do you guys feel about that? How do you guys feel about paying five or six hundred dollars more for an eight eighty three? Which is the same. Well, I have a theory on that. What? My theory is they raise the price like five, six hundred bucks to get you ready. Oh, we spoke about that. To get you ready for the next bike that's coming in, the new model. It's custom. So they're bringing up the uh, the lower end on the prices, so people aren't in shock when it's. A thousand or fifteen hundred dollars more, just to get you used to it. Get you used to it, so they jacked your price at five <coughs> six hundred to get your price point up. I agree. I, I think I think that has a lot to do with it. Um, nothing new with the sports serves. Um, let's go to soft tails. So soft tails, there was a little minor change. Um, we'll start with the street bob. Obviously, the the opening the opening base bike for soft tails is, is the the, the street bob standard. Yeah. Um, nothing well, new not, to that. Street bob is just a standard. It's just a standard, yeah. yeah. But it's really a street bob. Soft tail standard. Soft tail standard. Um, and then it's the street bob. So the street bob got a 114 upgrade now. So I'm impressed this year. That's the one bike that I actually might consider buying this year, besides Pan America. But I got to test drive that first. Uh, are you really serious about the street bob? Like you're really serious? I'm really serious. I might even trade in one of my motorcycles. <clears throat> I think you should trade in your road king for that. My road king. You already got a dresser. Yeah, maybe the V rod. I mean, you hardly use a V-Rod. <clears throat> 114. <clears throat> 114 <throat> engine. They got new tank graphics, which I'm a fan of. He's not so much a fan of. I think the tank graphic is cool in the street, Bob. We'll post up the picture right here and show you guys. Um, I like the, the black with the orange is cool. The white with the black is cool. I like the green one. And I like the orange. I do not like the green one. You don't like the green one? No. Really? It's like pea soup green or baby, the orange, you see, baby, I'm not... baby throw up poop mm, green. I'm not a fan of the orange one. Yeah? No. I, I think if I see it in person, I, I got my like. But I think right now, I think the black one. The black or the orange, the I would go with, or the white. I'd have to see the white in person. The white looks clean. But yeah. uh, my my first pick would probably be the black one or the green one. Um, but like I said, it's it's a huge change when they went from 107 to 114. It's a plus. But that's about passenger it. seat. Well, it's got a little passenger little seat, passenger, passenger pegs, and then they're making packages for it where you can add like fairing, saddlebags, stuff like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Touring, um, you can make it touring or sport or whatever. They, they, they should have added the dual disc from brakes, which they didn't. So you're putting... Then you had a price increase, right? That's the one thing. Gotta say, thank you, Harley. You didn't give us much, but you also didn't raise the prices. Yeah. 
I so mean, thanks for that. They're, they're, I don't think they're in the position right now to start raising prices on everything. Mm. But all right, I mean that's uh, that, that's that's a plus. I think the one fourteen to the street bob. What do you think? Street bob is my favorite of all the soft tails right now. Over I was my bike. Think, so over the spork. Over the spork. The spork glide was I was thinking about too. But if they were the spork glide, even if they didn't do the dual disc, they would have done the one fourteen. I probably would go toward the spork glide. Yeah, I would. But I'm disappointed because they just cheaped it out with the they just did the bags. No, they just left the 107 with a single disc. Didn't give us nothing there. Just paint job. Yeah, paint job. Paint job. See, at least the street bot, they stepped it up a little and made it, you know, two up and you made it 114. All the rest of the soft tails, nothing, no changes. Fat Boy got chrome instead of that brushed aluminum. Yeah. The refrigerator, instead of refrigerator fingerprint paint job. You see, like, that's one thing. Like, I actually was a fan of the. Of, of that. Apparently uh, not, though. They said that it was people, when they talked about it, they said it was by request from the, the public. The public, really, to go chrome. Huh. Yeah. They should have offered a black option in that, like they did with the anniversary. That special like, one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that, that, that would have been, been nice. Cool. Um, Sport Glide, as you guys know, just the paint jobs, the, the matching bags, nothing new. Um, the Low Rider S, just one color, so they got rid of the. Uh, love the, the color. Love the new color, though. Yeah. He doesn't. I do. <laughs> That's nice. It's nice. I like I, it. I love it. I don't know. I don't like it. That's like one of my favorites. I was expecting for them to come with a third color, but I heard there was going to be four colors, but there was but only there two. Is. Yeah, so they got rid of the silver, um, and they uh, replaced it with the burgundy. I don't think the silver sold too well. Nah. Um, the rest of the soft tails, no changes, just different paint jobs. Yeah. Um, I, I guess we'll we'll move into my favorite category and basically what we've been speaking about all day, which is the baggers, um, and it's something that we brought up in. In a, in, a, in a previous video, yes. half of it, we're half right with that. Mm -hmm. uh, we mentioned that they were probably gonna come out and give you options where if you're gonna buy a special, because we, we, the whole conversation was like, all right, it's so stupid because they wanna charge you $6,000 or $7,000 more for a special just because it's black. Now you're able to either just choose it, either chrome or black. Well, it's $900 more for the black still. Yeah, still. But I mean, at least now you're getting that these cool paint jobs that they're offering that yes, they're, awesome they're, paint jobs. They're basically CVO paint jobs. Yeah, and they have a CVO gas tank now too because they have the center console with the right fill. Mm -hmm. So it's basically, and they put the lower, instead of having the big crash bar, they put the little <laughs> crash bar. I like those. Yes, so I nice. had one on my bike before yeah, I put the lower. So up. nice, so, so nice. So yeah, like I, I really don't see why. Oh, and day makers, they put day makers. <laughs> on the bikes. They put they made they took the daymakers off the CVOs. Hold on, hold on. What? What year is it? 2021. Thank you, Harley Davidson. <laughs> Finally, 2021, and we have daymakers on fucking baggers. We might have LEDs, <laughs> but I don't think so. I think they're only on the CVOs. But well, they signal. are they are an option. For turn signal? Yeah, they're optional. Yeah. If you look on the website, oh, it says LEDs. And I'm like, oh thank God they come out. Then it says optional. I say, what the fuck is optional? Oh shit. I'm like, optional. So they're good. So thank you, Harley, for giving us LEDs, but we have to pay for them. <laughs> It's, so it's, you're not doing us really no favors. It's so ridiculous. But I mean, I, hey, you know, baggers finally got LEDs. Like a LED. Well, not all that. of them. But only the specials, right? Well, I don't even know if the specials got LEDs. I think got. Yeah, yeah, they do. Because the guy was like, he had to check it or whatever. But he, the, uh, they took the, the daymaker off the CBO, put it on the, the specials, and put the adaptive, which is really nice, adaptive headlight on the CBOs. So as you're riding, the headlight moves. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That is really cool, that's and that should cool. be on a CBO. So now the biggest difference from you getting, let's say, just a regular street glide to a special street glide is that number one, you're gonna get, you're gonna have options to cool paint jobs. Yes. Um, <clears throat> the stretch bags, you're gonna have the um, new tank, new tank, uh, matching LEDs. paint, uh, uh, matching paint on the on the fairing on the inside, the LED headlamp, and what else? The chop, the chop. The engine guard. The engine guard. And then and if you want the wheels, if you want in black as well. I don't know if it's new wheels or not. Uh, no, it's the same wheels. Okay. Was it Talon wheels? No, it's not Talon wheels. No. The Prodigies? Prod is it Prodigy it? wheels? Yeah. It's the same wheels as last year. Um, but they're different from the, I mean, the, the other wheels on the regular. The black and chrome option is cool because you can get all the colors, either black or chrome. Exactly. Option. So, so now it's stuck with just black or just chrome or, you know, you got both. This reg, the standards, the standard uh, street guide. And the standard road uh, road guide, 
the, the, the same. The, the, the colors they picked were so horrible. It was like, I mean, the I mean, badging's a little different. The, but the, you know. the, the Billy Red is nice. Yes. The Billy Red is really nice. Yes. But the other two colors, like, eh, mm. like, why? But then it's like, all right. Well, like, the gray's on there, too. Isn't the gray on there or no? It's like a sand. I don't even know the name of the color, but it's weird. But, I mean, I can see why they would do that because they, they want to offer you all these good colors on the specials. Yeah, and, they're making and, the specials. And they kind of want everybody to go to They want to go up to like, the next price point. And the specials, they actually, like you said, the prices are the same. If you buy the chrome option, it's actually cheaper than last year's prices because you're not paying the 900 for the blacked out option. But the, um, what you call it, then, then you go up to the CVOs, but here's the dilemma with the CVOs. They gave you adaptive, they gave you that Rockford Fosgate uh, better stereo system because mm -hmm. I guess they had a problem with the old one or it just, this is a better stereo system. But you're thirteen to $15,000 more over the specials now that the paint jobs look very similar on the, I mean the paint jobs are different on the CVOs, but They're really nice. the specials look similar. It's, and you're getting a similar gas tank and you're getting some of the singular stuff. Like maybe you're not getting all the chrome controls and everything. And you're not getting a 117 big whoop to do. It's like a five percent difference or something like that. But that's a twelve to thirteen thousand dollars. Me personally, I mean, unless you're in love with the CVO the way it looks, and you're not going to change a thing, then go get it. But if you're going to start, we have a friend who's got a CVO, change everything on it. So why buy a CVO? Exactly. Yeah. You just yeah. you know just get something a special, just get a regular one and yeah. build it out to whatever. You're, Specification is going to be and we have that discussion plenty of times when, when I spoke about my low rider s compared to a low rider Yeah, it's like, you know, you can save a whole bunch of money But now they discontinued the low rider. So now you don't have that option anymore. Yeah, <laughs> like a street bob, which is similar. But yeah, that's that um, Yeah, I don't know man. Uh, it's it it doesn't really make a lot of sense for people just go for CBOs now where you get that those beautiful paint jobs and specials now like I'm um, I I told Jerry today, I saw those paint jobs and I'm like, I really want one of these bikes. And we, we were at Garden State Harley Davidson this past weekend and I sat on a black one that I had there and um, I was like, damn, like I, I really- don't want to say what it is, dude. <laughs> I, I, I really want the street glide. Like I, I had my heart set out on a road glide before, but now like I'm kind of shifting my ways to street glides again. And I'm like, yeah, and they, they just look a bit sleeker and more, I, I love know. my street guys, my favorite bike I've ever had. Uh, the thing is that I would I would have to get rid of one of my bikes because I mean it's like a basically a thirty thousand dollar bike. I, there's no way I'm gonna afford that. There as my third bike, there's no way. If it was a cheaper bike, sure, but but my favorite favorite paint job is on that street glide special. The gray one. The gray and black with the blue stripe. Oh my god! Awesome. That, that that's awesome. the one I want. That's, and chrome. Not I black. might be a little, I don't want a black. I might be a little chrome. jealous when you get that. But you know my bike will still be faster. That's if I can. I, I, I gotta <laughs> shut up. I, I gotta think about that one, man. I gotta think about that one long and hard. Oh, yeah. Pause. Um, yeah. uh, besides that, parts and accessories. Um, yeah, we don't know yet. We'll nothing. find out. A couple days, we'll get the books. Yeah. Um, okay. And then, as far as the Pan America, that's gonna be for next month. They only mentioned it for like a second, and yeah. then they said it's, they're gonna talk about it next month. Well, the, the next month is, is the big it's the day. Launch. It's the launch for it. Nothing about day. the 1250 custom. Nothing. Nothing about the custom. Nothing, nothing about, about electric bikes. bikes. Nothing. Um. That's basically it. It was nothing. It was a whole year of, of anticipation just for basically for 40 colors. minutes of eh. colors. I'm, I'm, I mean. <laughs> I love Harley Davidson. Like I said, the paint jobs are phenomenal. They do great paint. The paint lasts for you take care of it. It lasts forever. I got a seven. Harley Davidson bike. bikes are phenomenal, just in general. I mean, you, you, well, you, people always get mad. Hold on, hold on. Let me just say that people always get mad at us when we sit here and we talk shit about the company. And it's like I always say, like you and I, we both love this company the same way a lot of you guys yes. love this company. You know, the thing is that sometimes we expect more. I expected a lot more. You know, like mm -hmm. I, after a year of anticipation like, and the way they, you know, they made it seem like, oh, we're going to change so many things and focus on this, focus on and that. Plus the rumors we heard too. We thought if we half the rumors would have came true, we would have been so happy, but nothing came true. Like one or two things like the gas tank. We heard, I know about the CBO gas tank on the specials or whatever, and I knew about the chrome black option. Listen, but baggers, they all should have been 117s. And CVO should have been 131s. And CVO's 131s. Because right now the baggers are what, 114s? Yes. So Well, except for this, the standard are still 107. 
That's the biggest exactly. disappointment. So I was like, what? Why? Why even? If you wanted to talk about trimming your line down, why not just pop 114s and everything? Now you still got the stupid. You got, I mean, 107 is still a good engine. Don't get me wrong. No, it's. it's I mean, a, it's we always great. go by the displacement. The 107 is torquey, and it, it's. It's a it, great engine. Up to yeah, 70 yeah, miles an hour, it's probably quicker than the 114. But the 114 <laughs> smooths out over, over 70. The 114 is more linear, and it's only a 10 percent difference. So if you start doing performance mods to your 107, you can be over the 114 easily. Easily, easily. But if you do the same stuff to the 114, yes, you'll have 10 percent more of whatever you do. Basically, what they should have done was to have the standards at 114, the specials at 117, and the CVOs at, at 131. Yes. That, that, that would have been like, oh, like, oh shit, like, you know? That would have been something. Or, not for nothing, we've been talking about this and I could beat it to death about the same thing with the LEDs. Rider modes. What if you gave me a 114 with rider modes? I'm still waiting for rider modes for baggers, man. Rider modes, 114 with a rider mode. mode. A yeah, rain mode. A rain mode. A race mode. Yes. And just for cause. Yeah. yeah Touring mode. Just and, for comfort. So even if you could unlock. 5% more out of that 114, we'd be happy because you gave us rider modes. Yeah. But instead you give us the same old stuff and you slap us nice paint job on it and say, here you go. But thank God they didn't jack us on the price. Yeah, you gotta be thankful about that. Yeah, because they could have jacked us on the price. They could have said, oh, new colors, COVID, we need to charge you 500 or 1,000 more. But that might also put another nail in their coffin. Yeah, I, I, th I mean, right I now, mean, I they gotta think, uh, about their next move yes. very very they gotta be very strategic about what they're gonna be doing next i mean you know they always surprise us mid-year whether where they you know they drop a new well, hopefully they or, drop the 1250 mid-year because we haven't heard shit about it i, I mean I'm, I'm expecting that for 2022 they said 2021 but, yeah. it says it on the website 2021 yeah. it might be a mid-year release who knows? i mean unless they think pan america is going to be a huge success but i think the pan america will do well I don't know if it's going to be a huge success, but I think it if will sell well. If the price point is right and the performance is right, I'm dying to drive one, to ride one. So if not, then maybe I go buy a, a street bob and punch it out to a 131. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about maybe starting like uh, like a GoFundMe or something. If you guys want to help me get a street glide, because I really want that street glide. So if, if should I start a GoFundMe, let me know at least, hey, a dollar out of everybody will go a long way. I mean, hey, if you guys want to see more content like that, Help me out. Maybe I'll do. I'll put my cash app on there, or something like that. But I want that street glide, and I mean the only option would be to get rid of my Dyna. And I don't know. That's a tough. One. I love that bike. It's a tough one. You I'm might not, have to go. I'm you might have to go. Bike, you might have to go ride the street glide special again with that color just to make sure you love it. And we'll be doing that because we got a lot of lot of reviews coming yes. up for these new bikes. And um, I can't wait to jump on the street by one fourteen. Cause that bike's lighter than your bike. Uh, you know what? Like, I'm, that bike's I'm, lighter than your bike. I'm so. very, very interested to see how that bike is gonna ride, man. Yeah. You know. And then if I can punch it to a 131, might not be able to stop, but it'll be good. <laughs> with uh, you got one disc brake in the front, I don't even like stop with all that power. But just yeah. stand up and let the wind hit my chest, cause you know. That's about it. Uh, besides that, thing, what we pretty much touched all the little stuff that came out with, right? Yeah, I don't think we missed anything. The, the big holdoffs was the fat bob, but that was just a chrome option. I don't even know why they held it off because of that. The street bob they redid, but they didn't. They only did like a 114 and some cosmetics or whatever. But it's nice that they did it, so it's different from the standard. And then the specials was the big thing. I mean, the CVOs were pretty much besides the stereo system. What else did they change? And the adaptive the adaptive headlight. Mm -hmm. Um, on Thursday, I'm going to be dropping by Garden State Harley Davidson. They're going to be getting their big shipment of all the new bikes. Hopefully, the colors we want to see. Hopefully, the colors we want to see will be there, and I'll be making a video to show you guys. So tune in for that. Um, what else? What else we got coming out? We got uh, we got another video coming out with the video that we posted a long time ago. Follow up video. A follow up video to that because we uh, were. Our we're, predictions. We were pretty right about everything, but it was one bike that we got wrong. We got one, yeah, one bike. Got it was like, it's like a flip swap. Yeah, 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 it got swapped. Yeah, so we'll, we, we got to follow up on that next week as well. Um, and then a ton of other stuff. And then I think I got, I think I got Fro Rider coming over on Thursday as well. We're going to be working on the Dyna, so we're going to be doing a few little uh, upgrades to the bike. I'm still waiting for the riders. They might come in tomorrow. Um, but other stuff. Uh, I'm going to be doing an oil change as well. Risers, I got the lay down license plate. We might be installing the HPI exhaust on his bike. Mm -hmm. So who knows, a lot of cool stuff coming. Thank you so much for watching. 
tune in for the next video if you're new to my channel and if you like this type of content go ahead subscribe hit that bell button to notify you anytime i upload any type of little content this is jerry this is the coolest white guy i know and that's it let the force be with you right safe and enjoy the ride and enjoy the peace. ride baby peace that was a good one